Hello creatives, welcome to the daily pick a card and birthday reading for October 16th. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a six of clubs. If you were born before sunrise, you are yesterday's card, which was a seven of clubs. So I'm going to read each card, then all together for the collective. We'll talk about what kind of energy the Six of Clubs might bring and bump up into today and how we might navigate the card's messages. Then a special birthday message for you, Six of Clubs. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you help yourself in raising your vibration to energize your manifesting abilities. All right, let's turn over card number one. Six of spades. Mm, that's a pretty healthy card to get here for a six of clubs. This is very nice. You've got this uh, Venus energy going on today. You are Venus led, right? Being a Libra and Mercury led. And so now we have the six of spades, which is also Venus led. This is the lover's card in the major arcana. So what does that mean? That means you are feeling more harmonic in your choices, that you are feeling more aligned with who you are at your core and that you are making good choices and really understanding your Libra balance. Very, very nice. All right. Lucky you to be getting that card. Let's see what we have for card number two. <clears throat> We've got the King of Clubs. We've got some letting go to do here. Figuring out who you are and reinventing once again who you are. And the reason why that you do this is so that you could make a difference in the world. This is Pluto energy and it is through crisis energy. Kings encompass the seven, eights, and nines of the same suit. So seven of clubs, Saturn energy, the tower energy. That energy is either brought through with a flash of revelation, like a bolt of lightning, or it is brought because you've been in denial and unwilling and source brings it <laughs> like a bolt of lightning. <laughs> and then you've got the A Rahu. It's chariot run because it's the black eight of clubs, which is in control. You've got mind, body, and spirit all working beautifully. Going after those big thinking, intellectual, mind expanding thoughts or the opposite, not, but we are in the upright position. So this is positive. And we've also got the nine of clubs, that K2 energy, and that is the hermit energy in the major arcana. So contemplation, understanding, it is source-led. You are on your path, and this is what you do, and this is what you're doing today. You are understanding that in order to really get to your, your understanding of whatever is limiting you, because it's that limiting belief about yourself. Think about that nine of club, clubs energy, that K2 energy, some notion or idea that needs to be let go of. Let's walk backwards a little bit. The eight of clubs, you've just put the big think on about what? The seven of clubs, what needed to be let go of because it's no longer serving. It's undermining. What is it? What belief about yourself? It might come as that revelation, that tower moment, Pluto moment. Might come rather rude and unexpected <laughs> through crisis, right? Great. What's it for? 
Yeah, you know what it's for. It's so that you can reset to that inner peace. Why? Because that is who you are meant to be, because that is where you make a difference in this world. So there you have it. You got some big, big things today. Let's go to card number three. The nine of clubs in reverse. Interesting. All right, a reversal. So a reversal is just a heads up about what might be coming along for you today and how you may get triggered or you may run into someone else who's triggered. And this lower vibration of a nine of clubs will be in your way, so to speak. So let's think about that for a second, because we are looking at K2. We are looking at past life, DNA, crap that needs to be let go. Something that you thought was just the way it was. Well, guess what? It's not. It's here for you to do the letting go of. Just recognizing it sets it free. And then you just have to act as if it never was, because it really never was. It is misconceived. It's ready to be released. You're going to uncover it, and you're going to let it go. I'm going to hold you back a little bit, though. It's in reversed. So that lower vibe, you might be feeling a little uh, judgmental or defensive, or unwilling to follow source. You know, the hermit, that one with the lantern, just understanding it's a path that you are being led down. You do have free will up to a certain point to do what you need to do, do what you want to do, do as much or as little, pulling that string on this reversal. But you are being offered this right now so that you can raise your vibration by at least taking a look and at most doing the work. Beautiful, really, that you're the one today that is being given this opportunity to release whatever it is you need releasing. And getting over, past, through whatever is in this being triggered. And how do you do that? You do that by pulling the thread on it. And by that, I mean you recognize something. You recognize what this is talking about. Whatever people, places, things that just didn't ring quite true. Something was off about it. What was it? What was that? And then you see that as, okay, so either they got triggered or you got triggered by some desire, some impulse, some block. You know, you run into someone and it's all, woe is me, I can't do anything right. <laughs> block, right? And But you see it. And you understand it because you're in that position to be listening and watching for it. You've gotten the heads up. So you look at that and you think, oh, it's Libra season. We are mirroring. We're bouncing. And we've got six of clubs energy that we're bouncing off today. Beautiful. Yes, let's do it. Because it's so perfectly ready. It's ready to be healed, whatever it is, because that's the way it works. Your daimon, your guides, they're asking you to take a look. And they're asking you to ask for help. You can ask with the best of intentions, with the deepest gratitude, help you co-create. Bring it. You bring it. I'll do the work. Show me synchronicities, show me through the cards, show me I'm listening, pop it in, I'm ready. <laughs> I love it. All right, it's going to be an interesting day, especially on the Six of Clubs. All right, and a little contemplation that just came through, that hermit energy. Give it a moment when it comes. 
just allow it to get all settled down. Take a good look at it and let it come through. Beautiful. We're going to be in a good spot for it. We're feeling ready. We've got the big think coming. You know, we understand the bigger picture of this, this cardinal energy that's today as well, that we're needing to let go of something for a bigger purpose. The kings are always about a bigger purpose. It's just more beautiful that they want to, not even knowingly, just unknowingly, they perform through their life with what they're doing. They are of service for the greater good. They're supposed to be. And that's what this one here is. So we're feeling ready. We know that what it is, it's come to us. We've doing all that club action. It's so clubby today. And we've got the six of club energy that we're talking about now. So six of clubs, it is like completing something. The six of clubs is a, is a healer through the truth. Isn't that beautiful? Healer through the truth. The truth comes and it heals. That's coming out of us today. That's what we can tap into. We got to think about it. We got to understand it. We got to know the balance sixes of how much is ego, how much is soul led. We got to be honest about it. Six of clubs. Got to be truthful, mostly with ourselves, because isn't it all about who we are? Bouncing off of everybody else. Libra, seventh house, and having this satisfaction of being rewarded and recognized for being that kind of maturity and stability, that adulting, <laughs> beautifully adulting. And having the abilities, sixes are very capable. It is success after hard work. You know, the ego part loves the success. The soul loves the work. If you can find that balance, it is golden. So today with the six, knowing that we just had the the supercharged new moon there on Saturday. It's Monday. We've had a couple of days to think about direction as to how we want to show up in our connections with other people. That Libra energy mirroring, if you will, the Aries energy back in April. Both cardinal signs, we have this perfect opportunity to see the bigger picture. Aries wanting to work on ourselves, our confidence, our strengths, and how we bring that to those connections. All right, we should all be really getting close to having that, that uh, what we want to manifest. All right, and put that out there. What kind of, what kind of connection do you want with that sort of thing? How do you want to show up? It's a great question. All right. Happy birthday, Six of Clubs. Okay. Yes, I'm being reminded I did not share the shadow attributes of the Six, and especially with a reversal. There's something important here that needs to be be investigated. So it can come with blocks. It can That could be the trigger. And... It could also be some desire or some impulse, but I'm getting blocks. So maybe you're feeling like you're not quite ready because that can also be involved with that eclipse season that you're just feeling like you're, you're got your cement boots on and you're not getting anywhere, but that's okay. Relax into that. It's just not ready yet. It, it'll pop. It's going to be one of those. It might take you right up, right up to that half moon 
before you're ready to set your sights on what's the perfect rightness for you. And I'm even getting that it can it can happen day off. So this is a period of time that is kind of like a timeout for whatever you're not feeling. Don't push it. Relax into it. Needed to be said. All right. So the Six of Clubs can also have these defensiveness as well. So don't let anybody be pushing your buttons. Not the time for it. Where it's the time for contemplation. It's the time for inter, inner inspection or reflection. And there's some of that that needs to happen. So I think that's it. It's a very stable day and it's time to, to be rewarded and recognized for something well done. So you can do that for yourself and just relax into that as well. Give yourself a, a nice little time out. All right. All right. Huh. Okay. All right. Six of clubs. Happy birthday. Let's see what the creativity oracle has for you. Love that you get the poppies. One of my favorite synchronicities that happens for me. All right. Insight. See beyond appearances, masks, cliches, and cultural stereotypes to gain insight. You see, that's exactly the kind of thing that would be put to good use in a time out to look and just be really hyper aware of your surroundings and look for those having those masks and cliches of appearances you know just go look at the latest fashions. Everybody's pushing to look this way or look that way. And what is that? To feel a part of something that takes you away from you. So in order to be honest about it and see it, you can still do it, right? Just be honest about it. And let that reflect back, Libra season, and show you the insights of you. So, Six of Clubs, this is such a good card for you because it is all about that finding the balance between the rewards and the enjoyment of the efforts made. Sixes are hard workers. Yeah, they put in the work and they do get rewarded for the work. And then they go right back to the work because that reward, that that feel goodness only lasts for so long. And then when the ego gets bored or the attention is waning, that's when the trouble starts. That's when you get into those feeling jealous or feeling uh, blocked or deprived or bringing in that um, obsessiveness or ignorance about yourself. And that's when you fall into the same trap as the rest of it. <sighs> Stereotypes, right? So... Understanding that that work is soul-led. It's a beautiful balance if you can find it. All right. So the chart of the day. <laughs> okay. So do we have any of these? Yes, we do. We have the six of spades there. That is in the sun position. Do we have a king of clubs? No, we don't. And we do not have a nine of clubs either. So we'll talk about the um, ecliptic and the catch 22 and all of that, because we could all be looking at that today as well. That could come with the, the trigger. So we will, uh, we'll, we'll look for that in a second. 
But what did you get for the spirit and nature? Six of clubs. The five of spades. Ooh, he was here yesterday. Minimal. Yeah, well, it's the only way, isn't it, to just strip it down to those bare bones and get really real with how you're showing up and how others are showing up. And you know what will come out of that? Just popped in. Oh, my God. Such a delicious new creativity is so ready to just be yours. Oh, man, that. I could just feel that coming for you. Oh, that's beautiful. You are really, really allowing something. Oh, delicious is just such a good word to use coming your way. Just got to get down, get quiet, strip away any of the noise and wait. Mm, wow. That is such a perfect manifestation. <laughs> wow. Okay. Lucky you. Very, very, very nice. Okay. So let's do talk about the chart because where could you get caught up? Okay. Getting get caught up for you in that Pluto position is that seven of hearts. It's hard to let go, especially as a six. I'm not surprised at all to see it here because sixes like to put their nose to the grindstone and push through, get it done, get the rewards, move on to the next thing. So whenever it comes time to say, whoa, wait a minute, you got to think this through. You got to feel it through. Six of Clubs doesn't want to feel anything through. No, you are you cardinal energy. You're looking at the bigger picture. You're already three steps ahead of everybody else. And you've got that beautiful stability, that groundedness, that that knowing the Venus being led by that and having that Mercury being able to communicate. But again, the catch 22 for you as that third deacon is being able to really have that bird's eye view of how to puppeteer and manipulate people as well. Not saying you do. I'm just saying that it's there for you. <laughs> yeah, as a cardinal sign and all the rest of it. So for you to just be being asked to strip it down and wait is a tall order. It's not something that sixes really want to do. They just want to have that beautiful tripping the light fandango, getting through, finding the information, sharing it, being that intellectual pursuit card that you are and the stability and the beauty of the sixes, right? You are in full bloom, beautifully full bloom, enjoying it. Who wants to stop and rethink it? <laughs> That's what you're being asked. <laughs> yep. And it's not easy because you've got the five of clubs on your ecliptic. All right. The ecliptic with the five of clubs is nothing but work. So you can see how you get, you get trip, you trip over yourself with that five of clubs. It's a hardworking card. It's Jupiter energy. So it's not all bad. You roll with the punches. It's okay. It's judgment. So you're making good choices. You're owning, you're owning it. You're okay. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of inner searching. You've got that Mercury subruled. So there's a there's a a bit of a, a wordsmith in here for you. So it's restless energy. Fives are restless. They they need to hustle and they're good at it. They enjoy it. It's um uh, it's fun. It um yeah, there's hardly any downtime with fives, but they're searching for that perfect thing and which is what the six of clubs wants to because then you take it you spruce it up and you've got something worthy that's what sixes do so for you 
with the Queen of Clubs in the Rahu to be invited to explore and experiment in broadening that Five of Clubs because the Queen of Clubs encompasses the Fours, Fives, and Sixes. And the Five part of that Queen does all the work in finding it. The Fours are very comfortable. They just want to, you know, get on with it. You know, things are fine. I'm, I'm good. Go, you know, you, you can move on. <laughs> but the five part won't let them. <laughs> no, you know, that, that right there looks so much better. And then the six is like, yes, that's the one. I'm doing it. <laughs> you know? So that's where you're being invited to explore. It's all really be very beautiful. And what motivates you? is that the five of diamonds, I'm sorry, the two of diamonds, that is the overlying card for you, six of clubs. You are always looking for that next good thing to connect with of value. It's really such a sweet, really good chart. I just love the way each and every chart is set up to do exactly what you're supposed to be doing. It just tells a story of how to get there from here. All right, you do have two queens in your, in your spread and you've got the queen of hearts on the moon, which is pretty nice in that it too is asking you to really explore those nature, nurture abilities that you have, including how you do that for yourself. And that goes right back, kind of mirroring, if you will, being that Libra seventh house of bouncing energy. If you're going to bounce, bounce that queen off the seven of hearts. That would help you tremendously in figuring it out because it's going to be a little more fast paced being Venus run. Your Venus has a three of hearts and that too is very much like that seven of hearts. So it is recognizing and identifying exactly what is not serving you any longer emotionally, what's holding you back. Let it go. You will find a lot quicker success and be able to do a lot more if you can do that. All right. That was nice. Okay. Let's see what you get. Love this card. I know it looks just like my, my logo there. When I first started with that shooting star, it's so beautiful. Mm. Wish upon a star. I am made from the stuff of stars. I matter. Yes. Well, you've got a fun one. Yeah, this is pretty good. Just sit and look and understand and see where you fit into all of that. And whenever you can become more honest and truthful and authentic and be more you, right? Wow, beautiful. That is a very nice birthday wish. All right. Well, okay, everyone. Carpe diem. Stay kind and curious as you journey creatively.